In this lesson, we are going to calculate support reactions of frame. Now, the first thing you want to know is, you want to know what are support reactions. Support reactions, these are what keep the structures at equilibrium. Because we always want our structures to be at equilibrium. So this is the reason we are calculating for support reaction. Because these keep the structure at equilibrium. You need to take note of that. Now, if you take a look at the screen, we want to calculate the support reaction of this frame. As you can see, this is a frame. So we want to calculate the support reaction of the frame. Now, we have a pin support at point A, and we have a roller support at point B. At point A, we are going to have two unknown forces because this is a pin, and we know that pin support, they don't allow movement in the vertical and horizontal direction. So we are going to have two unknown forces. Now, you need to make an assumption on the direction of these forces. The way I like to do this is I always assume all the forces in the vertical direction, I assume this to be acting upward, while the forces in the horizontal direction, I assume this to be acting to the right. So the vertical force is going to be AY acting upward, while the horizontal force is going to be AS to the right. Now you need to know that when you assume this value to be acting upward or to the right, Whenever you have a positive answer, meaning your assumption is right. But if you have a negative answer, meaning your assumption is wrong, meaning your forces or the resultant forces, they are acting in the op opposite direction. So you need to take note of this. Now, if you take a look at the other support, we have a roller support. As you can see, this roller support is inclined. We are going to have an inclined support reaction. Now, you need to know that you are going to make an assumption on this reaction as well. So the direction of this support reaction is going to be to the right, or we are going to assume this acting upward. So this is going to be ROB. So this is the support reaction. Now, as you can see, we are having an inclined support reaction. Whenever we have an inclined support reaction or an inclined force, we need to decompose this in its vertical and horizontal components. So we have to decompose this reaction in its vertical and horizontal components. So this is going to be the vertical component, while this is going to be the horizontal component. So we need the values on the vertical axis, and we need the value on the horizontal axis. If you take a look at this triangle, as you can see, we are having a 3-4 triangle. The run is 3, while the rise is 4. Now we need to calculate the slope of this triangle. How can we do this? We are going to use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the slope. So this is going to be the square root of 3 square plus 4 square. Doing this, we are going to have the slope as 5. So this is going to be the hypotenuse. Now we need to decompose this in its vertical and horizontal component. So what we are going to do, on the vertical component, this is going to be 4 then divided by the slope, 5, then multiplied by the reaction, ROB. So this is going to be the vertical component. While the horizontal component, it is going to be theory over the slope, then multiplied by the reaction, which is ROB. So this is going to be the horizontal component. Now we need to calculate AS, AY, and ROB. So these are the reactions we want to calculate. How can we do this? We are going to take a moment, or we are going to take summation of moments at a point. The question is, where do you want to sum moments? You want to sum the moment at a point where you can evaluate most of the unknown forces. If you sum the moment at point B, you are going to find out that you are still going to have AS and AY. We still have two unknowns, so meaning we can't sum the moment at point B. So we have to sum the moment at point A, because if we sum the moment at point A, meaning we are going to eliminate AS and AY, then we'll be left with just ROB. So let's take the summation of the moment at point A. So it's going to be summation of moments at point A is equals to zero. So we're going to assume the direction to be counterclockwise. So this is positive. So whenever we have a positive, or whenever we have a counterclockwise rotation, meaning the 
mean it is going to be positive. And whenever we have a clockwise direction, mean it is going to be negative. So we all know that AS and AY is going to be zero because AS and AY they are passing through the point of origin. And we know that moment is equal to force times distance. Because in order for us to have moments, we need force and distance. And because AS and AY is passing through the point, meaning there is no distance. And because there is no distance, meaning there is no moment. So we have a force 20 keep. So if we apply 20 keep on this frame, it is going to try to rotate this in the clockwise direction. And because this is clockwise, meaning it is going to be negative. So this is negative 20 keep. So we also need the distance. Now, make sure you don't make this mistake. Whenever you have a, whenever you have an horizontal force, the distance is going to be vertical to the point of origin. And whenever you have a vertical force, the distance is going to be horizontal to the point of origin. Make sure you take note of this. So what is going to, what is going to be the distance? The distance is going to be 10 feet. As you can see, the distance is 10 feet. So this is going to be 20 keep multiplied by 10 feet. Then we have 20 keep acting downward. If we try, if we apply 20 keep on this frame, it's going to try to rotate the frame in the clockwise direction. So this is going to be negative because we're having clockwise. So this is negative 20 keep. Then, then multiply. What is the distance? The distance is going to be 10 feet because we're having a vertical force, meaning the distance is going to be horizontal. So this is multiplied by 10 feet. So we're also having 30 keep acting downward. So this is going to be negative because we are going to have a clockwise rotation. So this is 30 keep. Then multiply. What is the distance? The distance is going to be 20 feet. So this is 10 plus 10 is going to give us 20. So this is multiplied by 20 feet. Now, what about the unknown reaction? As you can see, we are going to have 3 over 5 ROB and 4 over 5 ROB. So let's take a look at the horizontal reaction. So 3 over 5 ROB, if we apply 3 over 5 ROB on this frame, it is going to try to rotate the frame in the clockwise direction. So because it is clockwise, meaning it is going to be positive. So this is going to be positive 3 over 5 ROB. So we also need to include the distance. So what is the distance? The distance is going to be 20 feet. As you can see, this is 20 feet. So this is multiplied by 20 feet. Now, what about the vertical force? 4 over 5 ROB. If you apply 4 over 5 ROB on this frame, it's going to try to rotate this in the counterclockwise direction. So this is going to be positive because we're having counterclockwise. So this is 4 over 5 ROB. What about the distance? The distance is going to be 30 feet. The distance is going to be 30 feet. So because we're having 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is 30. So this is multiplied by 30 feet. So because we don't have any, any force or any reaction, meaning this is equal to zero. So all we need to do, we just need to calculate for ROB. ROB is going to be equal to 27.77 keep. As you can see, we are having a positive value. Because we are having a positive value, meaning our assumed direction is correct. So meaning this is going to add upward. So we are going to have an inclined reaction that is acting upward because we are having a positive value. Now we know the reaction ROB. So all we need to do, we just need to calculate AS and AY. So let's calculate AS. So how can we calculate this? All we need to do, we just need to sum all the forces in the horizontal direction. So we're going to say the summation of the forces in the S direction is equal to zero. So we're going to take moving to the right. We're going to take this to be positive. While moving to the left is negative. So as you can see, AS is acting to the right. So this is going to be positive. So this is AS. What, what other horizontal force do we have? As you can see, we have 3 over 5 ROB. And this is moving to the left, so it's going to be negative. So this is negative 3 over 5. We calculated ROB. ROB was 27.77 keep. So this is 27.77 
keep. Because we don't have any horizontal force, meaning this is going to be equal to zero. So all we need to do, we just need to move this to the right side. And 3 over 5 multiplied 27.77 keep. This is going to give us 36.66 keep. So this is negative 36.66 keep. This is equal to zero. So if we move this to the right side, we're going to have AS is equal to 36.66 keep. Now, as you can see, we have the value to be positive. Because we are having a positive value, meaning the direction of this force is indeed acting to the right. And because it is acting to the right, meaning our assumption is correct. So what we need to do, we just need to calculate for AY. Now, how can we calculate for AY? We just need to sum the forces in the Y direction. So this is equal to zero. So I'm going to say the value moving to the value moving upward is positive. Why the force is moving downward is negative. As you can see, we're having a y and a y is moving upward, so this is going to be positive. So this is a y. Now, what other vertical force do we have? As you can see, we have 20 keep and 20 keep it is acting downward, so this is going to be negative. So this is minus 20 keep. We also have 30 keep. 30 keep is acting downward, so this is negative. So this is negative 30 keep. Now, what other vertical force do we have? As you can see, we have 4 over 5 ROB. So because this is acting upward, meaning it is positive. So this is positive 4 over 5 ROB. And we calculated ROB to be 27.77 keep. So this is 27.77 keep. Make sure you always write your units in order for you not to make any mistake. So it is better for you to write your units. As you can see, we don't have any vertical force. So we are going to say this is equal to zero. So what we need to do, we just need to calculate for AY. So this is going to be AY, negative 20 keep minus 20 keep. This is going to give us negative 50, negative 50 keep. Then plus 4 over 5 multiplied 27.77 keep. We are going to get 22.216. So this is going to be 22.216 keep. So this is equal to zero. Now, negative 50 keep plus 22.216 keep. If we calculate this, we are going to get negative 27.78 keep. So this is AY minus 27.78 keep. Because we want to find AY, all we need to do, we just need to take this to the right side. So doing this, we are going to get AY is equal to 27.78 keep. So this is going to be the answer. So this is going to be the value of AY. So meaning the, the reaction ROB, that is the inclined reaction ROB, this is equal to let me write it here, ROB, this is equal to 27.77 keep, and this is acting upward. Then the horizontal reaction, AS, this is 36.66 keep, and this is moving to the right. Why? The vertical reaction, AY, this is 27.78 keep, and this is acting upward because we are having a positive value.